Hi guys, welcome back to Bible Time with Mrs. Barr. Today we are looking at Acts chapter 17, verses 1 through 15. Let's just go ahead and jump right in. When they had passed through Amph Ampharopolis and Ampholina, they came to Thessalonica, where there was a Jewish synagogue. As his custom was, Paul went into the synagogue, and on and on three Sabbath days he reasoned with them from the scriptures, explaining and proving that the Christ had to be had to suffer and rise from the dead. This Jesus I am proclaiming to you is the Christ, he said. Some of the Jews were persuaded and joined Paul and Silas, as did a large number of God-fearing Greeks and not a few prominent women. But the Jews were jealous so they rounded up some bad characters from the marketplace formed a mob and started a riot in the city they rushed to jason's house in search of paul and silas in order to bring them out to the crowd but when they did not find them they dragged jason and some other brothers from the city some of the other brothers before the city officials shouting these men who have caused trouble all over the world have now come here and jason has welcomed them into his house they are all defying Caesar's decrees, saying that there is another king, one called Jesus. When they heard this, the crowd and the city officials were thrown into turmoil. When they made, then they made Jason and the others post bond and let them go. And then the next section is titled, titled um, oh, the first section was titled In Thessalonica. The next section is titled In Berea. As soon as it was night, the brothers sent Paul and Silas away to Berea. On arriving there, they went to the Jewish synagogue. Now the Bereans were more, were of more noble character than the Thessalonians. So they received the message with great inner eagerness and examined the scriptures every day to see if what Paul said was true. Many of the Jews believed, as did also a number of prominent Greek women and many Greek men. When the Jews in Thessalonica learned that Paul was preaching the word of God at Berea, they went there too, agitating the crowds and stirring them up. The brothers immediately sent Paul to the coast, but Silas and Timothy stayed in Berea. The men who escorted Paul brought him to Athens and then left with instructions for Silas and Timothy to join him as soon as possible. So you have two places and um, that Paul and Silas were at. First Thessalonica, then Berea. And um, they were going into the synagogues on the Sabbath, 
preaching about Jesus, explaining um, Christ, and explaining the scriptures to the people. Um, some Jews were persuaded, and it makes a point to say a large number of uh, Greeks were persuaded, a large number of Greek women were persuaded, along with men. Um, and this, again, made the Jews jealous, so they wanted to try to harm Paul and Silas like they had before. And, um, but their, their friends protected them and got them out of there and sent them on their way to Berea. And things were going well until the people at Thessal in Thessalonica showed up in Berea and were like, these guys are trouble and da 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 and were causing more problems. Um, so as you can see, like Paul and Silas and, and the other um, apostles are not going out and being like, I am going to purposely cause problems. I'm going to, you know, stir up as much trouble as I can. No, they're just, they're going and sharing what God has given them, what God has told them about, and they're not looking to cause problems. It's everybody else that does not like them or care for them very much that wants them out of there and wants to cause problems. So that is Acts chapter 17 verses 1 through 15. We'll see you next time. Bye. God bless.